Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are going to do some more AP Physics 1 problems and we're looking at the momentum topic. Um, as usual, I suggest you pause the video, try to do the problem on your own, and um, come back after you've attempted the problem. Okay, so here we go. We have a 0.2 kilogram object moving along a straight line. The net force acting on the object varies with the object's displacement as shown in the graph above. The object starts from rest at displacement x equals 0 and time t equals zero and is displaced a distance of 20 meters total. Um, determine each of the following. The acceleration of the particle when its displacement is six meters. So at six meters, what do we see here? The force is four newtons. The net force, this is net force by the way, that's what they told you, the net force. Um, so we know that the net force is equal to ma, right? So if I know this is four newtons, and I know this is a 0.2 kilogram object that I can solve for A. It's just 4 newtons over 0.2 kilograms and that would be uh, 20 meters per second squared. Okay, so constant acceleration here because it's constant force. So that was A. Uh, B, the time taken for the object to be displaced the first 12 meters um, so it's under this constant acceleration for 12 meters, so if I want to know time, acceleration, displacement, I'm looking at this kinematic equation, v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. I don't know if you noticed this. This is a good habit to do. I always write the entire kinematic equation, and then I start plugging in things. So I know I want to go 12 meters. Um, the object starts from rest. That's what I was looking for, an initial velocity. 1 half a is 20 meters per second squared because during this whole 12 meters it's under constant acceleration times t squared so I just want to solve for t so I'm going to multiply by 2 divide by 20 and take the square root so t is the square root of 24 meters divided by 20 meters per second squared that's um, that's some number that I'm just going to 24 divided by 20 uh, 1.095 seconds okay so that's how long it took to go this first um, so let me show. okay the amount of work work done by the net force in displacing the object the first uh, 12 meters um, work is force times distance I feel like we've done this problem before I've seen this problem several times, so I apologize if we've done this problem before, but uh, the last part is the momentum question, which we'll get to here. But, you know, a lot of times these free response questions, they actually vary in terms of their topic. So, I mean, as you can see, you need some kinematics, some V equals MA, net work done, the first 12 meters. Uh, it's the area under the force displacement curve, because this is F delta X or FD is work done. So it's 4 newtons times 12 meters. Forty-eight joules. So I might have done this for the energy question or one of the other ones. The speed of the object at displacement x equals twelve meters. Well, uh, its final velocity is just simply initial velocity plus acceleration times time. I know its initial velocity was zero. I know its acceleration was twenty meters per second squared, and I know it was during this time going one point zero nine five seconds. times 20, 21.91 meters per second. E, the final speed of the object of displacement x equals 20. Okay, this is a little bit tricky because the, um, the, the um, force isn't constant, but I can do the total work done. If I look at the total work done, all the work done should go into creating kinetic energy. So this is the energy conservation part. So we noted we know this area is 48 joules. I'm almost sure we did this question not too long ago. This area of this triangle, 12, let's see, that's that's 8 by 4, it's 32, that's 16 joules. So this is a total of 64 joules. That's how much work was done. And all of that had to go into one half mv squared. So v is equal to 
128 because I multiplied by 2 divided by the mass which is 0.2 kilograms and then I want to take the square root of that twenty five point three meters per second and then finally F the change in momentum of the object is it displaced from 12 to 20 meters okay uh, change in momentum is M Delta V right it's a um, it, because technically momentum can change if the mass changes so but it, typically that is not a common thing that happens that the mass can change um, so the mass is really it's the velocities changes so it's 0.2 kilograms and I want to know simply the change in velocity. Well, it ended up at 25.3 meters per second, and it started at zero meters per second. So, whoops, typed in the wrong number, and I got 5.06 uh, kilograms meters per second. Okay, so not too much momentum, and. I know maybe it was a little bit of a review problem from the energy section, but um, hope you found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.